If your New Year's resolution includes losing weight, well, this story's for you. There are countless diets, of course, that will more than likely lose their luster after a few weeks. But KXA's Jared Wise explains how some smart shopping in the supermarket can help you win that tough battle of the bulge. After gorging on holiday meals in the new year, most shoppers start reaching for the healthier choices. Right? Always a good time. But just because something says diet or low fat doesn't mean you should believe it will actually help you shed the pounds. Take this crunchy Peter Pan peanut butter. It has 16 grams of fat and look below 6 grams of carbs. Now take the reduced fat crunchy Peter Pan peanut butter. Just 3 grams of fat was taken out and replaced with more than double the processed carbs. And most dietitians will tell you it's the extra processed sugars that will make you gain the weight, not the fat content. My husband counts calories, um, okay. so he does read the labels, definitely. So he's lost several pounds just reading labels and counting calories. Go for the shorter ingredient list, and to the degree that there are no ingredient lists, that's the best option. Deirdre Earls has been a registered dietitian for more than 20 years. And my personal experience and my clinical experience is that for the vast majority of people, Following a healthy diet perfectly is not required to get perfect results. And she says adding cheat days are important to sustain any kind of diet, but in moderation. And while fruits, vegetables, beans, and nuts are ideal in fighting the fat, you can still reach for those foods that are processed. But remember, less is more. And that includes things like yogurt. Buy it plain and without the fruit on the bottom, because most of that is sugar. Instead, add your own real fruit. And on things like bacon, stick with a lean, regular version for the most part. Sometimes turkey bacon can have more additives and higher sodium, making weight loss that much more difficult. Obviously, bacon isn't an ideal choice in a diet. But bacon is the kind of thing that can get people to all of a sudden start eating more salad. Sometimes you have to start with where they are and then find ways to get them to like these things that may mean including things in their diet that are still not ideal. Jared Wise, KXN, Austin News. The dietitian in Jared's report, Deidre Earl, suffered from severe psoriasis while growing up. She's been featured in a documentary that's been seen worldwide. It's about how she overcame her disease just by limiting the processed foods in her diet. For more information on her background, we set up a link for you at our website, kxan.com.